right, Ellis, I want to start with you. There have been several rulings against the Trump administration, but this one seemingly in his favor. What's your take? That's right. I mean, we have a very mess messy judicial system, don't we? And we'll probably get two or three more as the as the months roll on. We won't know for sure what the courts think until this thing gets to the Supreme Court. And uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So just hold on tight. It's going to yank a bunch of different directions. But in the end, we got to get Congress and the president on the same page and help these kids. All right, Julio, let me ask you this question. What happens first, a Supreme Court ruling or Congress acting and putting a bill on president's desk to resolve this? Um, perhaps uh, Congress actually acting. I think that because it's a midterm election year, the Democrats are going to want to have something to kind of dangle in front of their constituency saying, hey, look, we did something for the dreamers. But I mean, they're going to have to come forward with the concession of ending chain migration, um, having a merit based immigration system, probably having to agree to fund the wall will have to be part of that as well. So there are going to be some things they're going to have to pivot from it. But thank God for Judge Titus for actually, you know, acknowledging the rule of law here and, and actually allowing it to expire. You know, I think it's important to also note that the dreamers, the people who have already under protection here can reapply for the program. So it's not like they instantly aren't going to have any protection. They can always reapply as well. That is an interesting take, and uh, you know I want to get you guys to, to comment on this coming from President Trump's uh, Twitter machine this morning. He, he said this, federal judge in Maryland has just ruled that President Trump has the right to end DACA. President Obama had eight years to fix this problem and didn't. I am waiting for the Dems. They are running for the hills. What do you think, Ellis? Are Dems really holding this issue out to badger Republicans during the midterms? No, it's the right thing to do. I mean, seriously, the, I understand. The right you know, thing to do, all, Ellis? Not all not all mm. political is not all political issues are moral, but this one really is. I, I mean, we have an obligation to these kids. These, these are the, some of the most sympathetic, imaginable human beings, right? Dragged mm. here by their parents, so they had no choice in it. I know in the Hennigan family, John, when we went on vacation, uh, my parents just threw the five kids in the back of the station wagon and started driving. We didn't take a vote about where we wanted to go, so we really do owe Wait, these well, kids something. Oh, I get it. Excuse me. Oh. I was trying to see where you were going with that, but I get it now. I got it. Okay, sorry about that. I was we were going, but we we're going back in time to the Ellison and Hennigan family vacation. Uh, 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 Julio, well, kids Julio, don't what do you make think? These I've got visions of the Griswolds in my head. I'm thinking about that, but it was, no, it was kind of Ellis, like Ellis that. does yeah, have a good point. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make light of it, but Ellis does have a good point, and I agree with him on this. These kids, when they came to this country, most of them, they didn't know what they were doing, uh, and I do think President Trump is sincere in his effort to try and resolve this situation. But Julio, I want to ask you this. If this does go to the Supreme Court, there's no guarantee that you're going to get the border wall security. So is that the motivation for Republicans uh, getting this done? That was always the exchange, right? The DACA deal for border security, end of chain migration, limiting the diversity visa, visa lottery program. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the, with the Supreme Court, it's going to be a crapshoot. So what they really want to do is take assertive, you know, uh, affirmative action and go ahead and, and get something done themselves. But again, it's going to have to come down to these compromises. Now, are the Democrats going to want to have, you know, their signature on a bill that, go, that goes ahead and funds a border wall? You know, but at the same time, the trade if the trade off is getting legalization for these dreamers, that, this is the thing. I don't think that the dreamers help them in any way, shape or form. These dreamers will not be voting in November. So make no mistake. That's the reason why the Democrats kind of want to kick this, this can down the road in the first place and just make it, you know, a bad optics sort of issue for the Republicans and the Republicans only. There's no sincerity oh. whatsoever for the Democrats on this. Hey, guys, Ellis, why don't we stop the shake? Why don't we stop the shakedown here? Why don't we just do what's right, right? Everyone agrees that these kids are sympathetic. They deserve our help. The government ought to help them. I mean, why is it we that you have to already. hold a we gun? No, hold them. on a second. Why do you have to hold a gun at their heads to do the right thing? I mean, listen, listen, Julio, if I invited you to lunch, right? And I said, come, let's have lunch with me. Let you and I go grab some lunch. And then I said, and you said, oh, great, that sounds nice. And then, it's, then I said, oh, by the way, I'm going to throw spaghetti sauce all over your shirt and pick your pocket while we're in the restaurant. You'd say, no, thanks. Let's just do the right thing and cut out all this hey, ugly politics. I, I, yeah, hold on one second, second because really I, 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 I think... It doesn't make much sense at all, but... Dreamers sorry, themselves ahead. are not happy with the Democratic Party. I want to go ahead and play this. Uh, dreamers outside the DNC headquarters protesting. Here's what, what one of them had to say. The Democratic Party has never been on my side. I have advocated for them. I've helped in campaigns. I've heard countless times that if I help them get elected, they would help my community. Instead, what we got in 2012 was something that left us hanging by a thread. 
Ellis, who is she talking to? Uh, listen, you know, people have disagreements. They have different perspectives about it. I mean, if you work really hard, you can find Julio and a few other folks uh, who, who agree with this sort of thing. But the reality is there's one party that is ready to vote for a clean DACA bill, and there's another party that wants to load it up with a bunch of crazy stuff, border walls, uh, ending chain migration, it's all teaching up on somebody's you grandma you before they'll do the right thing. Can you can't have your cake and eat it too, Ellis. At the end of the day, we need to end this scourge of illegal immigration. And just to go back to the point of the girl that was on the video there, I don't think this is the first time the Democrats have ever used illegal labor. Well, even even Luis Gutierrez, who's one of the, the, the hardliners on the left when it comes to immigration, what's going to take to get it done? I know you might not like the way this works, but there are the way things are and the way things should be. And this is just the way things are. Well, I hear you. It's an ugly, cynical deal, and maybe in the end you have to give the other side some stupid stuff that's not going to help anything in order to achieve a larger goal. But I'm telling you, I'm not going to give the whole store away the way Donald Trump wants to do this whole set of it. We're going we're gonna to let the dreamers in, and then we're going to evict all their parents and grandparents. Gee, that'll be really nice. You know, and I just don't think it's worth doing that. Well, well, Democrat Chuck that border Schumer. wall was voted into law in 2006. Why haven't we actually started building it in the last 12 years? That's my question. 